Today, we're finishing the frame of the Omni Directional Treadmill. This treadmill should cost right around $1,500 to build DIY. Now today, we're going to finish the horizontal rollers and test them as well, so let's get right to work on the frame before we do that. We got there in the end, we made a few mistakes along the way, but we did finish the frame. As you can see, the frame matches the CAD design remarkably well, which is quite impressive and exactly what I wanted. I added a few bolts on the side for easy disassembly, and now we have to get to work on the horizontal drives and attaching all of the Omni wheels explained in the previous videos to the metal rollers so we can get the horizontal drive working. So how many parts do we need to make this? Well, we need 42 Omni rollers, which looks like this, which is a total of 294 different 3D printed pieces with a total time of like at least 15 days of constant printing. This is about to be a very, very long 15 days. Several days later. So we got about 15 of the Omni wheel frames done, and a few of you are probably wondering, how are we actually going to attach these to the metal tubes? Well, it's quite simple actually, let me show you. So here's the CAD design in Fusion 360. As you can see, all we need to do is take a drill and drill slightly into our metal tube. Then we just simply have to screw in a screw. This creates a very nice bond in between the Omni wheel and the metal tube for quite cheap. Now that we have a few Omni wheels, let's go set the screws and drill them all in. After making the sketchiest support system ever, let's start drilling some holes. Gosh darn it, I broke another freaking bit. I pushed down too hard. I don't know where the other half is, so I guess I'm gonna have to go buy another one. Just going to get a bit. Can't see anything. Ah, I found it. I found the bits.
Did I finish it? No, I'm lazy. I'm not gonna do that. Anyway, let's connect it up to the motor and test if this thing actually works. All right, we got everything set up. We got the motor hooked up to the control board. And we got the control board hooked up to the Arduino and the Arduino hooked up to the laptop and the laptop running Arduino. So now we just have to turn it on and hope that nothing goes terribly wrong, which is also why I'm recording this just in case something does. Oh frick, it's spinning. I connected it up and it didn't really want to spin, there was way too much friction, but the important part is it did kind of spin. Once the motor had the right tension, the motor belt that is, it actually spun, which was really awesome. So now I've got to create a unit on the system to allow it to sit up in the frame and spin the whole thing with an adjustable belt tension. So hopefully we can get that done in the next episode and I'm not going to give you guys an estimate on when the next episode is because anytime I do that it goes terribly wrong. I have a Patreon now so if you want to support the project you can which is great in my opinion. A big thanks to Intel i9-9900K, Dylan and Salicor for being my first three Patreons. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys in the next video.